Pokemon Go has been heralded as a great outside activity. But there have been some complaints about things like trespassing or pedestrians not paying attention or people doing it while they're driving. So to sort out the legal ramifications, we brought in Stacy Stevens of Thompson Rogers. Hello, Stacy. Hey, Tim. How are you? Aren't you glad that you're here talking about Pokemon Go? I am. <laughs> I really am. Let me tell you. First question is, have you, have you played the game to know what everybody's uh, so crazed about? I have to admit, yes, I have, but only to research being here today. Now, have you become addicted to it? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, so why is this a personal injury issue? Anytime you put together drivers, pedestrians, and technology, the risk of having an accident is gonna increase significantly. The Pokemon Go app is designed to get people to be active in their community. It uses your cell phone camera technology and your GPS in order to map out where you are. The purpose of the game is to go out and find all of these virtual hidden Pokemon characters within your community and catch them. What happens is, is you've got people out driving, walking, biking, not paying attention to their surroundings, totally engrossed in what's going on on their cell phone. What I didn't know is, the more kilometers you travel, the more points you get. So people have been getting into their cars and, and doing this? Yes, they have. Believe it or not, I was talking to a gentleman on the weekend who was telling me that he had actually logged over 100 kilometers already on the game. When I asked him how he did that, he readily admitted that he did it while he was driving. Because he's going so slow, he felt that it because was Because the app only lets you, doesn't let you travel faster than a certain speed? Well, no, you can travel as fast as you want, but it only logs your kilometers if you're traveling 20 kilometers an hour or less. Right, so he has it on the dash and he's looking for all these Pokemons while he's driving. So that while brings up driving. the distractive driving issue. Exactly, and that is a huge problem in Ontario. Distracted drivers are four times more likely to get in an accident and one person is injured by a distracted driver every 30 minutes. So you've got this guy who's behind the wheel focusing on his cell phone screen, not paying attention to the road. And even though he's going slowly, the reality is that in the blink of an eye, he's not gonna see the pedestrian walking across the street in front of him. He may blow through the stop sign, drive an oncoming traffic, injure himself, or even worse, somebody else. There's the trespassing issue too, mm -hmm. because there's been there's been folks that have gone onto people's properties because there are Pokemon's on there. So let's talk about like the legalities of trespassing for something like this. Aside from the obvious risk of becoming being arrested for trespassing, from a personal injury perspective, a property owner has the obligation to make sure the premises are reasonably safe. So if someone comes on your property, they're not supposed to get injured. Having said that. The property owner isn't going to be automatically held liable for this Pokemon player who happens to wander onto their property and trips over something or falls. The court's going to look at all of the factors, including the Pokemon player's obligation to take an eye, keep an eye out for his own safety. Now, inside the house, if there was an issue that, let's say, a stairwell or something was not built. Okay, that may be a little different. Right. You know, we had talked earlier. The example I gave you was you're renovating your house. Yeah. Let's say the basement stairs are out, but you don't have the door locked going down to the basement. Your kids have friends over, they're playing Pokemon Go. One of them opens the basement door, takes a step, down he goes. Yeah. That's a little different. Yeah. You actually may be held liable for those injuries. What's the moral of the story here, Stacey? Put the phone down. <laughs> okay. That's it. Yeah. Nothing is that important that you need to put your own safety or somebody else's safety at risk just to catch some virtual Pokemon character. Aren't you glad you got up at the crack of silly to come talk about po Pokemon Go? I am so happy to we be here. We appreciate that you came in. <laughs> Stacy Stevens from the Thompson Rogers, part of a PIA Law. We're taking a break back with more Morning Live on your Wednesday afternoon.